Have you ever wondered how life exists on Earth? It's not just about individual plants and animals. It's about how they interact with each other and their environment. This is what we call an ecosystem. An ecosystem is like a giant puzzle where each piece, living or non-living, plays a crucial role. Imagine a forest. Trees, animals, insects, soil, sunlight, and water all depend on each other. Ecosystems can be as large as an ocean or as small as a puddle. They can be found in deserts, rainforests, and even in your backyard. Each ecosystem is unique and has its own set of characteristics. The living parts of an ecosystem, like plants and animals, are called biotic factors. The non-living parts, like air, water, and sunlight, are called abiotic factors. These biotic and abiotic factors interact in complex ways to create a delicate balance. For example, plants need sunlight, water, and nutrients from the soil to grow. Animals eat plants or other animals for energy. When organisms die, they decompose and release nutrients back into the soil. The cycle of life and death continues, keeping the ecosystem thriving. In the next few sections, we'll journey through some of the most fascinating ecosystems on Earth. We'll explore their unique features, the relationships between their inhabitants, and their importance to the planet. Rainforests are Earth's oldest ecosystems, teeming with life and wonder. Imagine stepping into a world painted green, where the air is thick with humidity and the sounds of life surround you. Rainforests host more than half of the world's plant and animal species. Their tall trees form a dense canopy, creating a unique layered structure. From toucans in the canopy to jaguars on the forest floor, rainforests are a spectacle of life. Rainforests are vital to our planet, acting as carbon sinks and providing essential resources. However, they are under threat from deforestation, habitat loss, and climate change. Beneath the ocean lies a world as vibrant as any rainforest. Coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea, are teeming with life. Built by tiny corals secreting calcium carbonate skeletons, found in warm, clear, shallow waters of tropical regions. They provide habitat for diverse marine life. The Great Barrier Reef hosts over 1,500 fish species and 411 species of hard coral, plus six of the world's seven marine turtle species. Corals have a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae. Algae provide food through photosynthesis. Corals offer protection. This relationship is essential for their survival. Coral reefs are crucial for ocean health. They protect coastlines, provide food and new medicines, but face threats from climate change, pollution, and overfishing. Rising temperatures and acidification cause coral bleaching. Along tropical and subtropical coastlines, where freshwater rivers meet the salty sea, lies a unique and vital ecosystem, the mangrove forest. These forests are dominated by salt-tolerant trees and shrubs known as mangroves, which have adapted to survive in harsh intertidal zones. Mangroves are remarkable plants, capable of tolerating high salt concentrations, low oxygen levels in waterlogged soils, and fluctuating tides. Their roots, often exposed above the waterline, come in various shapes and sizes, providing a fascinating spectacle. Some species have prop roots that arch from the trunk and branches, creating a tangled web that stabilizes the tree and provides a nursery for fish and invertebrates. Others have pneumatophores, or breathing roots, that stick up from the mud, allowing the tree to obtain oxygen. Mangrove forests are incredibly productive ecosystems, serving as nurseries for numerous fish and shellfish species, many of which are important for commercial fisheries. The dense root systems of mangroves help to trap sediment and filter pollutants from the water, improving water quality and protecting coastlines from erosion and storm surges. These forests also play a crucial role in carbon sequestration, storing large amounts of carbon in their biomass and sediments. This makes them important allies in the fight against climate change. Despite their ecological and economic importance, mangrove forests are under threat from deforestation, coastal development, and pollution. Section 5, Grasslands, Oceans of Green. 
Across continents, stretching as far as the eye can see, lie vast expanses of land dominated by grasses and herbaceous plants. These are the grasslands, ecosystems shaped by a unique combination of climate, fire, and grazing animals. Grasslands occur in regions where there is enough rainfall to support the growth of grasses, but not enough to support forests. These ecosystems are characterized by their fertile soils, seasonal droughts, and periodic fires. These fires, often started by lightning, play a crucial role in maintaining the health of grasslands by removing dead vegetation, releasing nutrients back into the soil, and preventing the encroachment of trees and shrubs. Grasslands are home to a diverse array of herbivores, from the massive bison of North American prairies to the graceful gazelles of African savannas. These grazers have evolved alongside grasslands, developing adaptations such as specialized teeth for grinding tough grasses and digestive systems capable of breaking down cellulose. Predators, such as lions, cheetahs, and wolves, also play an important role in grassland ecosystems. They help to regulate herbivore populations, preventing overgrazing and maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. Section 6. Deserts. Life in the arid expanse. Deserts, often perceived as barren wastelands, are in reality complex and fascinating ecosystems teeming with life that has adapted to thrive in the face of adversity. These arid landscapes, characterized by low rainfall, extreme temperatures, and sparse vegetation, cover approximately one-third of the Earth's land surface. Deserts are not all hot sand dunes. They come in various forms, from the cold deserts of Antarctica to the salt flats of the Atacama Desert. What unites them is their aridity, a lack of water, the lifeblood of all ecosystems. Yet, life persists. Plants and animals have evolved remarkable adaptations to survive in these harsh conditions. Cacti, iconic symbols of the desert, have developed succulent stems to store water, spines to reduce water loss and deter herbivores, and shallow, widespread roots to quickly absorb rainfall. Some desert animals, like the kangaroo rat, have evolved to obtain all the water they need from the seeds they eat. They have specialized kidneys that produce highly concentrated urine, minimizing water loss. Deserts are home to a surprising diversity of life, from reptiles like rattlesnakes and gila monsters, to mammals like camels, foxes, and bats. Many desert animals are nocturnal, avoiding the scorching daytime temperatures by venturing out to forage for food under the cool cover of darkness. Section 7. The Importance of Ecosystems Ecosystems are not just beautiful and fascinating, they are essential for life on Earth, including our own. They provide us with a wide range of services, known as ecosystem services, that are crucial for our well-being and survival. One of the most important ecosystem services is the provision of clean air and water. Forests, for example, act as giant air filters, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and releasing oxygen through photosynthesis. Wetlands filter pollutants from water, improving water quality. Ecosystems also play a vital role in regulating climate. Forests, for example, absorb and store vast amounts of carbon dioxide, helping to mitigate climate change. Wetlands help to control floods by absorbing excess water. Another crucial ecosystem service is pollination. Insects, birds, and bats pollinate crops, ensuring food security for billions of people. Without these pollinators, our agricultural systems would collapse. Ecosystems also provide us with a wide range of other goods and services, including food, medicine, timber, fiber, and recreation opportunities. They also have cultural and spiritual significance for many communities around the world. Section 8. Threats to Ecosystems and How We Can Help Ecosystems face threats from deforestation, pollution, and climate change. We can help by reducing our impact, supporting conservation, and advocating for policies. Together, we can create a sustainable future for all life on Earth. Section 9. Conclusion. Our Shared Future. From the lush rainforests to the arid deserts, from the towering mountains to the deep oceans, Earth is a planet teeming with life, interconnected in a delicate web of ecosystems. These ecosystems provide us with the air we breathe, 
the water we drink, the food we eat, and the climate we depend on. We are part of nature, not separate from it. Our actions have consequences and the choices we make today will determine the fate of ecosystems and the future of life on Earth. We have a responsibility to protect the planet that sustains us. By understanding the interconnectedness of life on Earth, by appreciating the beauty and value of ecosystems, and by working together to protect them, we can create a more sustainable and equitable future for all. The future of life on Earth depends on our choices. Let us choose wisely.